of order. The gentleman is now recognized for five minutes in support of his amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so currently, when a political campaign runs ads, whether it be on TV or radio, there are disclosure requirements. There's a public file. There's a copy of the ad that is open to the public. There's transparency in the system. That's valuable because you get to know who's paying for the ad. So as we think about how we avoid having foreign actors try to influence our election, when they have to put their name on it, it makes it a lot harder. Here's the problem. We have seen more and more political spending migrate into the online arena. And right now there are not disclosure requirements for internet-based internet advertisement. Um, you know, foreign interference in our elections is a real concern, and we know that digital platforms are being used in this regard. Um, and the anonymity of the internet makes that far more, uh, far more possible. So we got to do something about that, and that is why uh, I introduced a bill called the Honest Ads Act. It is bipartisan legislation that I led with uh, Representative Mike Gallagher. It is bicameral. It's a bill that is uh, Senator Klobuchar and Lindsey Graham in the Senate. And in a nutshell, it just seeks to fortify our system against foreign interference in our elections and to augment some of the transparency of online political ads. Um, simply put, foreign entities should not have the power to buy online ads that can sway American elections. Uh, this is a giant loophole that we ought to close, and that's frankly why it has been bipartisan. So let me just talk quickly about what this amendment does. This amendment would empower the Federal Election Commission to require disclosure for online ads just like we already do for traditional media outlets like TV and radio and satellite. And the objective here is to peel back that layer of anonymity and expose who is funding these online ads, and importantly, just to block foreign actors from purchasing them. Um, the amendment uh, stipulates that platforms with at least 50 million monthly views must maintain a public file, just like TV and radio stations are currently required to do, of all electioneering communications purchased by a person or group who spends more than $500 on an ad on their platform. Um, the bill mandates online platforms to make all reasonable efforts to ensure that foreign individuals and entities aren't purchasing political ads aimed at influencing the American electorate. And then finally, it expands the definition of electioneering communication in the Bipartisan Campaign Reform Act of 2002 to include paid internet and digital advertisement. When that law was created, we didn't do online political advertisement. That has obviously changed as technology has enabled our um, internet feeds to be um, something I would like to turn off most Octobers. Listen, in, in this digital area where the lines between domestic and foreign are blurred, it's just critical that we have laws that evolve alongside our technology. And the Honest Ads Act is a means through which we can actually do that, provide some transparency and accountability, and make sure that Americans can be confident that the political content that they see online is not a secret operation funded by foreign interest. So a as we work toward that goal, I think it's important to just recognize that this isn't partisan. There's a reason this bill is bipartisan on the House side, bipartisan on the Senate side, because protecting democracy is a shared responsibility and one that we need to uphold together. So I offer this amendment largely to um, make you aware of this. I think this is an important issue for our committee to take up. Um, uh, having said that, uh, I, um, uh, I will withdraw the amendment and hope to work with my colleagues on the other side of the aisle to, to move this forward. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I yield back. Uh, gentlemen, as you'll back, the amendment is withdrawn.